Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the 30th episode of Divide and Conquer. I am back from my, I guess, three-week hiatus into the last episode, so thank you for your patience. I will manage to continue this series. Again, the end conditions that I've set for myself is I would like to take out Harad and probably take out Umbar as well. Basically, pull my empire just a straight line down from about the end of the river here. There's a settlement. After all this territory, and that is pretty much the end goal, along with also conquering at least Baradur and maybe some of the other eastern Mordor settlements. I would love to destroy the ring pretty much at this point, just waiting for a notification to show up. I don't believe it's in Dunyard anymore, as the little ring that circles around it is gone. So hopefully it moves. Ideally, it just shows up in Finabel, and I can grab the ring and just simply take it to Mordor. It would be so easy. It would be so cool. So, uh, one of you commented on my last video, exactly uh, LOLer61, I'm underlying militia in my defensive battles, and yes, I absolutely have been, and I hadn't even considered that. So my ruling for this campaign is that my armies out on the field, the ones I attack with, the ones I expand with, those must be led by a general, and the number of units in his army can only be tied to the number of command stars they have. However, I am not restricted from recruiting militia as I have been for a while. Like I've only been recruiting my professional troops. I may still, however, like put down some archer militia in my towns to use as a police force. And I've not been doing that. And I think that would probably make things easier in the Southern front because Harad and Khan have a lot of armies. I mean, look at all this, two more armies here. I have Captain Melksa. I have Ulvor who has a lot of, uh, eh, but the army's not too strong, trollmen are always annoying when I don't have good archers to deal with them or good cavalry. So I will need to start recruiting more uh, militia and I probably will. I mean, look at this. I'm besieged in Tirith Thoride. Tirith Thoros is being assaulted. I could definitely just get like some Gondor cavalry militia in these armies, some territorial guardsmen, some Gondor militia, and I would probably be okay and I wouldn't have to use them to attack. Now, I do think I'll plan to take Amon Ithil, and I'll probably get a spy in here uh, once I've captured it, get the culture up quite a bit, and then I'll probably sell it to Dole and Roth so that they can kind of have a buffer zone here, and I can kind of just focus on going straight down into these settlements. So there will be a few battles. I'm going to have to lift the siege we're here in is that. I'm going to get rid of these Corsair Raiders. They're pretty much useless at this point, and I'm also going to merge these... Uh, Osgilia veterans. Now, I do have some reinforcements here, finally. Uh, this captain is going to be very useful. Fountain guards, some Gondor archers, and a lot of Athelian rangers. They should be useful uh, in this fight. I also have a catapult, and I do get them on the battlefield. Now, I am outnumbered. However, I think with the catapult, I should be okay with the Osgilia veterans and the rangers. They'll help a lot. The big thing is where my reinforcements are coming from. I'll want to join them on the battlefield. Or it does have the cavalry advantage, so I need to make sure that I am using my fountain guard and my spears effectively. The other unfortunate thing about this battle is since I am sallying out, I'm not going to be able to uh, really use the stakes unless I play at the gates here and try to coax Harad into actually getting inside of the settlement, which might be tricky. And I just realized I don't have my camera mod turned on. Let me get that rolling here. Uh, free cam. There we go. Yeah, I do not like the vanilla. After playing with this mod, free cam, I do not like the vanilla camera controls for this game anymore. I don't know how I played for so many years like that. Hey, where's my catapult? You're way back there. I hope I can actually use it in this fight. Um, it would be very useful, at least for maybe killing a few trollmen, but I worried that I'm not going to be able to get it to the front lines here. I'm probably going to have to manually walk it over here. The chance I might be able to get some of my archers to shoot from this distance, I kind of doubt it. Let's bring the catapult out. Looks like I can shoot. That's good. I'll wait for my reinforcements to arrive before I actually attack this army. Uh, Kieran, you're going to be very useful in this battle. You have a lot of good you're a very good at spear general he's good at killing the um haradrum cavalry i'm gonna put it on time six as i kind of just get my army out of the gates here probably gonna have to send out the osgiliath veterans they have a lot of cavalry like that is 
honestly a bit scary. I might be able to still play defensively by these walls. That would be the best situation. Ideally, I can just use the Ithilian Rangers uh, to coax the enemy into attack me, run them back, and then play in front of uh, the walls. That would be my preferred way to take on this battle. Let's see, who else do I have here? I really don't have that much for spears. I mean, I have that. That's my spear line in the main force. It is pathetic. I guess there is another unit here. I can do that. It's still pretty bad. I got Gondor archers, some Gondor infantry. Let's just put those right behind here. And the reinforcements are almost here, which is good. Catapult, please go outside the settlement. First, their archers, you're basically just going to die. Like, they aren't going to be useful. Put you guys in there. Gondor archers, let's do that. Put you guys in that group. Corsair raiders, yeah, I don't even know what you guys are going to do. You're going to be just... I could use them as bait for cavalry charges. That might work. Okay, at least the reinforcements have arrived. I'm going to probably do a fountain guard front line here instead. Let's do that. Put you guys maybe do that. And then they should be in another yeah, that now they're in a okay formation. It's a little messy. I got what two Athelian Rangers. Let's use those guys up in the front. We have some Lebanon Marines, which I can put probably on this flank. I can put them in a shield wall. Under Spearman. Okay, more Gondor Archers. Let's put those guys here. And that leaves another unit of Spears. I'll just keep those in the back. The Athelian Rangers go ahead and run out. I will go ahead and put you guys all in one formation like that. And yeah, let's just start moving up. Ideally, I can also use the Catapult to get in range. The Athelian Rangers, let's uh, try to get a little closer. I think my catapult's going to be in range for a while. I kind of don't even want to be this far forward. I'd rather play closer to my walls. But you know what? I'm just going to make... I'm going to give up on that tech, on that uh, strategy. Since I don't have a good fast unit to make them really come at me. And they have archers too. I'll just move the uh, veterans up here. Now I, I do have to watch my timer. I am running low there. You guys right there. And that should be a good formation. We can probably play around this siege tower. Okay, where are their archers? We have Trollman Hunter, some Haradrim archers in the front. I think they have a high ground advantage, but I should be able to maybe start shooting at these Trollmen from a safe distance. Wait, are they already in range? Okay, they actually outrange me here. That's not good. Maybe I weaken the archers first since they're going to they potentially do damage to my Athelian Rangers. They're still out of range, which is good. I'm in range of them. Okay, they are coming towards me. This is good. Edible is on fire at will. Another volley into those archers, please. Okay, they are pikemen. That's going to be an issue. I'm really going to need to make sure that I shoot at these uh, men. The ones that have all those... Uh, Javelins. In fact, I'm going to move these Corsair Archers up to the front. Let them take the Javelin Volleys. Fountain Guard. Reposition. Oh, nope. They're moving back. That's fine. Okay, if they're going to run away, we can shoot at them. Yeah, ooh, that was a good shot there. The uh, Catapult did a lot of damage. A good hit there. I like seeing that. And we're able to shoot in the back of the Trollmen. That's good. These guys all have 2 HP each, so they can actually fight for a relatively long time. Their weakness is their lack of armor, though. I think they have an armor stat of about 3. They're, yeah, not taking that much damage. They do have a big shield, so that also helps them a lot. Okay, here come their archers. Ideally, I can just screen them with my Corsair Raiders that I do not care about. Okay, we'll do one more volley, and then I need to move out of here. I'm probably going to take a few hits, but my Thielen Rangers... This one's got upgrades, at least, so if they shoot that one, they have a little more armor. Pull you guys back, let the Corsair Raiders just do whatever they want, I really don't care. A couple of decent hits, well, maybe not really. 
Shari Blades in the mix. South Rock Pikemen. The Pikemen are going to be my biggest danger, I think. Let's get you guys behind there. Ben and Marines are pretty much useless now. As long as these the cavalry don't get involved, I'll be okay. I probably want to switch my rangers to the other side to deal with those pikes. Are they just going to run into my Corsairs? That's fine. Go to the Southron Lancers over there. Okay. Let's just start shooting at them. Okay, everyone is firing right now, which is good. Roman Hunters still have 88 men. The Sashari Blades will be dangerous too, but I think I can just uh, want to pepper them down. Definitely just pepper them down. Let's get you guys into a tight block. Catapult, let's not have you miss right now. Yeah, just shoot at the archers. Okay, there's the Ashari Blades. Let's hit those guys. Come on. And I'm going to pull the Thilling Rangers away since there are some camels here. Okay. Let's, um... I want to send... I want to probably send... These javelins in. Okay, let's have you guys shoot the shoot the camels. Shari blades are getting uh, weakened severely here. This is good. Let's turn these fountain guard around. Looks like some of the uh, cavalry is going up to that side. Totally fine with me. The Ben and Marines throwing javelins at the camel riders. That works. Like I'm pretty much out of Corsair Raiders here. I probably want to uh, go into melee there. The javelins go in. Okay, let's go. And you guys are also firing at the camels. This is good. You guys are still shooting at the Ashari. Okay, let's switch over to the pikemen now. Get rid of those. Oh, here come the camel riders into uh, my back line. Okay, Gondor archers are just going to have to fight. I... I have a great way to deal with those. If you guys shoot across at those, under spearmen are going to get charged at by camel riders. Hopefully, I don't lose too many here. You guys firing at South Run pikemen? That's good. Oh, looks like here come more South Run lancers, but I do have fountain guard in the front. They're going to take some damage here. It's fine. It's totally fine. This is my best unit for taking care of these guys. What are you guys firing at? You're firing at those pikemen. Good. Let's switch to the other unit that's a little farther away. That should be easier to hit. Camel Riders took... They didn't do too much damage. I didn't kill many of them, though. Hunter Spearman, just hold the line. Hold position. What are you guys firing at? You're firing at South Run Warband. That's fine. I want to just start shooting at those South Run Lancers. Start weakening them up. Okay, my Fountain Guard are taking some damage. It'd be nice to take out their general. I don't think that's happening, though. I'm pretty sure he is going to survive this battle. The battle seems to be swinging in could try to shoot at him to weaken him. What's going on here? Oh, they got on my catapult? What the heck? Tough around a warband running through my lines. That's not cool. Okay, well, why don't I just start shooting their general? You guys can shoot that. Where is my general? You're fighting a bunch of trollmen here. Might need to try to get to. Without that general, they may oh, I lost fought. the captain already. Okay. Okay, well, Spearman, can we just take out these riders, please? And then I can probably get them onto the snake guard. Come on, take them out. The pikemen are going down, which is good. I'm going to lose a lot of my reinforcements here, which is unfortunate. What can I do? Can I do indeed? Okay, keep shooting at the general. He is getting weakened, so that'll make it easier for my spears to get engaged. Problem is, as long as they have camel riders and other cavalry, I'm not really able to disengage the way I'd like to. Like, I can't just send these spears in, because otherwise the camels will get into my veterans. I am taking out... Oh, jeez, my camera. Oh, okay, this is great. They snuck by me here, and I'm going to lose a bunch of Athelian Rangers. That's... Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, we'll stay in melee, since you, uh... I snuck attacked here. That's why I hate the these cavalry. Ca they have so much in the terms of uh, so many units in the cavalry department. It's really hard to deal with this Gondor. I just don't have, like, if I had territorial guardsmen everywhere, this would be a lot easier. You just have cheap guardsmen doing massive front lines here. But uh, I do not, unfortunately. So I'm going to take cavalry charges every few minutes. 
Okay, the Pluxnate Guard are down to only seven. He has my General Dune. Huron looks fine. I lost a lot of the Fountain Guard already. I can't believe that. Okay, these guys are dead. All right, come on, let's start moving up my uh, archers now. Your Black Snake Guard down to only five. Come on, take out the camels. Karat is proving to be one of the more difficult fights I've had. Okay, what, what are they doing? They're just running through you? Okay, come on, take them out, take them out. Archers fighting Trollmen, that's not a great trade. Okay, just send in, send in the archers. I'm gonna have to just take the, uh, take the fight with the cavalry. Okay, where's the other unit? Did they run away? Okay, Have you guys out here, you, I don't know, shoot at them. Okay, geez, I messed up with that unit. Okay, we are chasing the... There are only three black snake guard. Maybe I should just keep shooting them. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a kill here. They're not gonna run away though. Okay, trollmen are getting weakened. This is good. The reinforcements are helping. Apparently I've only lost 14% of my force here. It feels like I've lost a lot more. It's in the grand scheme of things. It's not that bad. A veteran to shoot the black snake guard. You get onto those archers. I don't think the archers have done too much damage. They're actually running into melee here. Oh, look at that charge. Okay. Yeah, you can shoot the Black Snake Guard. Killing a general would be useful. South around pikemen are also an issue. Like, they're so strong. They're very strong units. And I just don't have enough spears to be able to get my archers in positions where I can just shoot them down and focus on them. Okay, where is their general? I'm really starting to hate fighting Harad. This is awful. <laughs> oh man, every fight is just so brutal and they have really good generals that keep their army fighting. And because they're cavalry generals, I can't really play it in the same way I can um, take out a mortar army where I just kill the general and that's it. I have to play this completely differently. Okay, let's move you guys over here now. Controlman warriors still fighting. Where is their leader? Okay, come on, let's get around the pikes, please, so I can just shoot them. Come on, oh, he's right there. Okay, uh, Fountain Guard, come on, come on. Come on, Fountain Guard, Fountain Guard, come on, get in there. Oh, so many Fountain Guard here, they just did not get to hold a proper line. Come on, take him out, kill him. You guys have crazy attack stats, come on. You have a crazy cavalry bonus, too. Just take him out, and he's getting away. Come on. Okay, you guys shoot at those. You guys go for the uh, South Run Archers. Come on, start shooting these guys. My spearmen seem to be doing okay, at least. Okay, where did he go? Where is he running away? Okay, no, he's right there. Okay. He's gonna charge you guys. Come on, come on, come on. Keep running. I don't need you guys in melee. I get a fountain guard charge. I don't have the best charge bonus, but that should help a lot. Okay, got What the heck, guys? Come on. Do not shoot at that guy. How is he still alive? He just took a full fountain guard charge and lived. Come on, get in there. And he's going to get away again. Oh my goodness. This is why I hate, I hate cavalry generals for this very reason. They have crazy amounts of extra HP. <laughs> but he's gonna run all the way over there and then he's gonna run to another unit that I have. Probably these Gondor archers. And I can't really do much about it. I just have to keep trying to get spears on him. I'm hitting here with my, uh, my archers though. Come on, guys, get in there. Spears? Is he just gonna run away again for a new charge? Come on, come on. Kill him, please. Do not let him get away. I would be so upset if he gets away. Yes, okay. Oh, I hate those generals so much. I'm gonna end that battle. Oh, I lost 359 men.
Okay, who did my Fountain Guard at least heal? No, my Corsair Archers did. My Fountain Guard only healed three of their 61 cash. It's only 158 kills. I... Yeah, I misplayed my Fountain Guard there. What I really need to do is get a way station going out here. I need to get another castle, or maybe send those Fountain Guard back. And just get them retrained, because they are very, very useful in these fights. I always, there's one thing I always wish, I don't know why it's never been implemented in the mod, and it's the fact that, like, Gondor doesn't get any Rohan cavalry. You can't even get the Rohan cavalry mercenaries that all other good nations can get. Gondor does not have access to them, and I've never understood that. And I think it would be cool if there was a building, my thought would be in Kalan Head, to have the ability to get Rohirrim cavalry from this building as long as you're allied to them, and for maybe an Oldberg for for Rohan to maybe get some type of Gondor troop from a, from a barracks there, maybe a Gondor archer, maybe Gondor spearman, it could really be any number of things, but I've always felt that Gondor should have the capability to get some Rohirrim, and it would definitely be help, it would definitely help me in this situation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send these guys back to that castle, which I think no has a way station, I hope it does, right? We have a way station. I do, and I'm gonna see if I can retrain the fountain guard there. Your will, my lord. These guys are gonna join uh Huron's army. And okay, I can probably retrain those Athelian Rangers. Another thing I should get here. Do I have good culture? I do have great culture. Um, I should probably just get a basic barracks and get some militia here. Like some territorial guardsmen would help out um with Cond. That's like definitely would help out there. I, will not waste words. I hate those cavalry armies so much, guys. Okay, I'm tempted to just ignore these I guys. I mean, do I even Lord. really need to fight them? Not, not really. So, I think I'll send Denethor to... Honestly, I kind of just want to go for Finabel, but it's pretty weak. Okay, these cavalry need to go back for retraining. I'm going to send them back. We do have more reinforcements on the raid. Uh, let's send them... Yeah, they're gonna need they're gonna need to help out over here. I might have just made a mistake with moving them that close. That could be a problem. Okay, uh, I have these guys here. I also have this army that is pretty much ready to go. I think it's time I just send it up for long, take the forces, get in the ships. How's this looking? Yeah, it's basically a full army. You can only hold eight units though. Oh jeez. Um, all right. Well, I'm just gonna march them down. I could use reinforcements. I realize Forlong doesn't have great traits. Um, unless I set Faramir down or something else. You know, for right now, I'll just move the forces. They will be needed in Denethor's army. Do that, and where's my big fleet? Your... Here, let's look out for that Ardenaim fleet. Jeez, they have a full army there. Oh! There we go. Ooh, they got some units. Okay, can I win this fight? We have a number of them. Okay, it's a 10 to 3 ratio. If they win this fight, I'm going to be really upset. But it would be really nice to just get rid of these units. Clear your victory. How do we do? 12 to 19. Okay. 37 to 24. About even here. Didn't sink any ships. It's unfortunate. Okay, let's go back for some retraining. Right, Denethor, you're moving. I guess I'll take Amon Ithel and then sell that to... Um... Get that sold to Dolom Ross sooner than later. I can also probably sally out here. A good culture. Yeah, I do have uh, Knights of the Silver Swan. Um, let's do that. I'm outnumbered, but this army isn't that threatening. There's Southron Lancers. Two Ballista are annoying, so I'd have to like go out offensively here. But let's just do it. I need to not be under siege. All right, welcome to the siege defense. Selling out of this town with small walls. Now this is a very weird map. If they run down this chasm, I'm not going to be able to charge at them, but I might be able to sally out and catch these ballista before they uh, can get at me here, which would be useful. Come on, let's capture them. Get up to the side first so we can get an actual charge, because the quicker I can kill the Ballista, the better. This actually works out great for me. We're gonna go out to the right. I'll take it. Charging in. Hopefully I don't take any uh, casualties from the uh, 
archer towers there that are shooting very fast. What the heck was that? Oh, I have gunner archers in there. Interesting that they instantly routed. I never see ballista crews instantly route. <laughs> That's a new one. Come on, let's capture them all. Don't let them get away. And, okay, let's get out of there. It's going to be interesting. They seem to be... Oh, those are Beastmasters? Oh, I cannot get close to those. Pikemen are an issue, too. Yeah, Beastmasters are going to be annoying. So, which way do I want to deal with first? Maybe this left side since it's weaker? However, if I go for the right side, I can probably have a sacrificial unit just take the javelins, and that would make it a lot safer for my forces. So, I'm going to do that. Get you guys over here. Start firing at them, please. Bring in these javelins. I'm going to play very carefully here with my general. He can easily get killed uh, by a cavalry charge. Come on, let's uh, weaken. Make them come at me. I mean, these archers aren't going to do a lot. Yeah, we've killed a couple of beastmasters. That's not bad for only 44 archers. The only unit I can charge head on would be like the um, Haradrim Archers here. I definitely don't want to send my Swan Knights into anything else. Okay, we're actually doing a lot of damage to these Beastmasters. This is crazy. Is this even worth using all my ammo for? Like, I could be shooting at Pikemen. Oh, you know what? I don't want Javelins thrown at me, so uh, this is good. Are they even going to run at me? I don't think they will. Let's get you over here. Taking out most of the Beastmasters. They only have, what, eight left? They even, they're not even firing at me with their javelins. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm just going to move forward then, since they're going to be all weird. Those are Southron Lancers. Okay. Let's, uh, let's throw some javelins into you guys. Let me throw some javelins into the other pikemen. How are you guys doing? These javelins are very weak. Honestly, they they aren't armor piercing, and they definitely should be. Uh, barely doing damage to these uh, Southron pikemen. I miss classic Ended Wife. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I love. I kind of like Ended Wife before they got their update in Divine Conquer. I miss the Angron Raiders, uh, the Grey Flood Raiders, just the lines of javelins that you would use. They had like extra javelins and they were like armor piercing. I think the Grey Flood ones weren't armor piercing, but they still had like six javelins. It was really strong. Okay, well, if uh, I get the ability to just dictate my own engagements here, since the AI is having some serious troubles, then I will simply run my spears and pikes into their cavalry. Save myself a lot of headache here. Come on, come on, come on. Let's just have you guys go in the melee with the cavalry. Just keep running over here, please. Where's their javelin at? Is he hiding down below? He is. Okay, this is going to be bad if I have to fight them down that hill. Bring the knights around the flank. What attack do these guys have? They have an, they have an attack upgrade and nine chevrons. They have 14 attack. That is amazing. That is very good. Are you guys already winded? You've barely been running. Come on, let's get in there. Charge the back of these lancers. They should be dead in just a few seconds. Rocks are kind of in the way. That's what I like to see. Come on, pile in, lads. Pile in. Fighting over here, this is good. Come on, make them rout. How are they not routing yet? How am I losing swan knights to these guys? They're nowhere near as good. There we go. Come on, I'll get this pull away. I want to try to get a charge in on these spearmen. This is my general? Okay, that's scary. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Okay, keep on moving, lads. Let's see if I can get a charge onto those Haradrim Spears. I 
I think I have enough space to do that. Come on, they're marching. Where's that charge? There we go. Right down the side flank. Yes, excellent damage. They're already wavering. Yes, they're routing. This, this is good. I'm worried about the pikemen down here. That's my one threat. Okay, let's do... Let's get a position for another charge on the warband who are fighting a general here. Oh, he is... Are they routing? Do not let them get away. Do not let them get away. Come on, charge them. There we go. Plants us down. A couple of rocks in the way. Come on. They're shaking again. Come on, go back to routing. Come on, go back to wavering. This is good. Jeez, okay, that did not... That did not go as well as I wanted. Where are they running to? What is with the AI on this map? It's so buggy here. Well, let's just charge again from point blank. Come on guys, actually start accelerating, please. Come on, Swan Knights. Ooh, there's pikemen there. You charged through pikemen? Oh. Oh, that's not good. Okay, seriously, what is with this battle map? This is so bugged and scuffed. Oh my goodness. Are they just retreating? I think they're- yeah, they're just retreating. They're just doing an organized re They're not even retreat. what the heck? Only half okay, well, I just- I just wasted my swan knights there. Wow. Ah, oh, god, I hate pikemen. I just lost so many swan knights there thinking that those guys were routing, but they weren't. Come on, okay, we'll get rid of those. At least I should have a way station not too far from here. I'm gonna have to send them back for retraining. Oh my goodness, this battle map is so scuffed. <laughs> oh, that was that was bad what I did with those Swan Knights. I mean, I got rid of the unit of Pikemen, right? But I just completely died. Like, why are they doing this? Okay, just go for the camels. Just, just do it. Come on. There he is. Guard him well and make it so All right, let's get the last of these units. I am honestly pretty annoyed at fighting Harad. <laughs> They're just a completely different, uh, completely different enemy. They are very strong. Compared to Mordor, this is a lot more difficult. All right, well, let's go in on the pikemen. See if I can get right behind, maybe do a flank here. And see if I can't, uh... The battle is very much in our can't break them here. Hopefully they don't turn around. And, uh, that charge was scuffed. Good job, knights. Let's just lose even more knights. They can't really charge back here, it seems. Okay, come on. Those pikemen, come on. There we go. How are they not broken? There we go. Pursue and run them down. Whew. Please tell me my knights recovered. Please tell me they recovered. Oh, they only recovered three, man. Alright, well, I will send them back for retraining. I think I should have a way station at the castle just to the north of here. Hopefully that counts as away from Gondorian Heartland so I can get retraining. Alright, well, I can get 4,000 for that, but I'm just going to execute them. Alright, Tirithraid is saved. Tirithoros, do you have a way station? Hope you do. Yes, you do. Okay, so I can probably send these knights there. Can I retrain? I can't. Maybe it's not far enough away. That, yeah, I don't think it is. Otherwise, they would show up in the pool here. Um, it's weird though, because I can retrain these guys, but that might just be armor? Oh, weapon upgrades. Okay. So I'm probably going to send the Swan Knights to us to fill, perhaps? Or maybe if I- honestly... Where's the next castle? I think it's over here. I could check at us to fill, but I don't think that one counts for, uh, for way station purposes. Okay, well I know I can't retrain them here. That's- that's whatever. Okay, can I get some more militia here? Let's not retrain, let's just get some militia going. So I can actually move these forces away. I need this red army to just Honestly, just screw off. That would be nice. <laughs> okay, I could get a general here in Tirithoros. Let's do that. 
Um, let's have... I think Hanyan's the general here, so let's have Candir go do that. Hopefully you can make it to the town. You can't, so stay in the ship for now. I have some militia here that could also go to the front lines. Alright, that's fine. Tarnos, you're not training anything useful. I have 7,500 gold. I could get buildings. I could go for all sorts of things. I'm not going to worry about Brethil. Brethil is not important to me. Uh, who should I, should I invest? Maybe I should just get more units. Um, I am taking that army out of Minas here, so I am going to need more. Let's get those Blackbird Veil vale archers. Let's get some Gondor spearmen uh, from Talon. How can you get me more spearmen? Yeah, let's do that. I also have some artillery down here. Might as well get that to the front lines. Western Rose Gilead, what are we working on? A siege works for another trebuchet. That's useful. Uh, Car Andros, Gondor Archers. Yeah, let's get those. I could get Militia in Mordor. Might as well. Let's get some... Uh... I really don't need it in Mordor, though. I think Mordor is fine. We'll get more Warden to the White Tower. That's good. Okay, I am going to have to fight off all these guys. Let's get rid of you. Right, let's just go besiege Morgoth. Start that. I'm just going to wait it out for a few turns. I don't have artillery here, so hopefully they'll just sally out and attack me. Ooh, Varyag Lancers, Olog High. This is going to get dangerous. Okay, the Witch King is out here. It would probably help if I take care of this army out on the field before the reinforcements arrive. We've been recording about 35 minutes. Okay. Boromir, let us take your army. Let's see. Let you go there. Let's get some a Fountain Guard. One and two. Let's bring in the Wardens of the White Tower. Uh, Menace of the You guys should probably go back for retraining. In fact, I should be able to get Waystations here, right? If I don't already have Waystations. Um... What other infantry do I want? A good amount. I'm probably going to want to put in the Seaward Spearmen and the Pikemen. Followed by... These guys were a little messed up. They were a little damaged. These guys aren't going to make it to the front, but I can take more Pikemen. That's a good front line. Um, I mean, it is just mostly trash here, so let's bring in the... Black Veil Archers, the Gondor Archers, and the Athelion Rangers. The way I'm doing it this way is so that my units are lined up. Infantry, uh, Archers, and then the Cavalry, which will be last. And yeah, let's bring in those two. Third thing, I should probably send these Rangers to the front. Can't really train me anything at the moment. You need a spy over here, definitely. I need to get some culture going here in Mordor. Um, alright, that's fine. Attack Captain Zunal. Pretty weak army, just gonna get rid of the numbers and then I can move on to the Witch King. Start deployment. My front line looking here. I could do... A line of Fountain Guard like that, probably put in the Wardens of the White Tower there. And I usually like to have Boromir in the front, so I'll do that. That should be pretty solid. I can then probably stagger my uh, bikes if I really want to, or do something like this. Kind of just join the uh, forces here. Let's put you guys in the front line like that, in loose formation. Same with these Gondor Archers. Them kind of let's offset them to the left so I can flank around a little easier while these healing rangers go to the uh go to the right hand side and cavalry will support the rangers. Let's move up, lads. They don't have any cavalry, which will make this pretty easy. Oh, wait, they do have oh, they have artillery. Okay, I need to go deal with those right now. Forgot about the ballistas. Okay, let's have you guys. Don't worry about the Orc Scouts so much, but the Uruk Halberds are definitely more threatening. I'm going to take a few Ballista Volleys. I can't do anything about that. I have to accept the damage. Where are they aiming? Are they aiming at Boromir? 
Okay, let's start. Let's just run you away because they're probably gonna shoot at you. Come on. Jeez, blister, way too accurate. Keep moving for now. Okay, it looks like they're actually trying to move forward. That's good. Okay, what are you firing? You're firing at the scouts. I really do not need to be shooting those scouts. Okay, come on, get on them. Probably should shoot these maulers soon. Or cowards are going down. That's good. That's very good. Yeah, let's focus on the ones that are closest to my infantry. And also, you guys asked for some close-ups, and I've not been doing that lately. Oh yeah, look at that damage. Try to get my cavalry to charge in a second here. Excellent. Make sure I'm not going to get charged up here. Looks like they're going to ignore me. Come on, get on the ballistic group. And it's probably time to pull you guys away. Run, please, run. Get out of there. The front lines are about to engage. Oh, there's some orc maulers here. Not great. Maybe have you guys shoot at a farther target. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We're on guard. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there, cavalry. I don't want to lose spears. I don't want to lose the spears. Okay. I've lost Pikeman fighting orc host. Boromir's going to have to fight the black uruks. That's totally fine. You guys shoot those maulers. Right, let's have you guys just, just shoot the scouts here in the back. Do that. Cavalry, come on. Fight going on here. Onfloss, Pikeman, and Warren to the White Tower fighting side by side against the Black Uruks. Beautiful. Charge from the Orc Maulers. My Fountain Guard are not really staying in a good formation here. Okay, I need to I need to watch this side here. You guys shoot the Orc Maulers. Cavalry, I need you to hit these guys now in the back. Okay, Orc Scouts are about to go down. How's the fight going on here? Pikeman versus Orcos. That is an easy fight for my Pikeman. Look at those upgrades, too. They're very nice looking. Cavalry are almost engaged. Gotta be mindful of my uh, Athelian Rangers. Hopefully they're not about to get caught here. Here comes the rear charge. Black Uruks and Maulers. They should route. Come on. And the winged hussars arrive. Force remains. Beautiful mass route. Okay, these guys have already arrived. Let's go for these orc raiders here. Go work on those orc maulers. Could keep running. Just keep running. The charge coming into these orc raiders. I don't know where the captain is. I think he's in the back somewhere. Still shooting at the orc scouts. I don't really have another great. Oh no, the ballista came back online. Yeah, let's let's not, guys. Let's totally not. Completely forgot about that. They're still running from my maulers. Totally, totally fine. Okay, ballista crew. That's annoying. Okay, they're routing. Let's charge those. You guys go for that ballista. Million rangers. I mean, you're still working on the orc maulers. That's good. You guys can shoot the Moran and guard there. I really need you guys to move faster. It seems that the cavalry just moves very slow uh, on this battle map. Uh, the Mordor ones. Something to do with the terrain type. It just messes with my, uh, my cavalry speed. Do some leadership. Okay. Maybe I just get right... Oh, the Melissa's not even firing. Okay, I'm okay. I don't even need to worry about that. You capture them. Oh, Athelian Rangers are getting caught by Moran and Guard. Yeah, that's not... That's just not, guys. Okay, let's move into the uh, Orc Coast, or the uh, Orc Scouts. Should be able to kill off the Ballista Crew with this with this uh, army right here. I think I killed all the Maulers. Are they all dead? Okay, the Thielen Rangers, how are you getting caught? Come on. Jeez. I think my whole army just moves slower here, and the Orcs move faster. Orc scouts are running here. That's good. Let's get everyone over here, please. Billy Rangers, please shoot at the Moran and Guard. For my other archers, come on. Shoot those, please. Are they running away now? Not yet. Okay, but I am almost in melee with my elites, so I can just... Yeah, look, my, my guys are already very tired. 
Humor volleys in the back from the Rangers, and then a charge from the Wards to Wipe Tower. I should be it for him. Yep, there they go. There they go. I run it 92%. I'm just going to end it there. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's so easy to fight Mordor and not take losses. 24 men, and I killed 2,000, but fight Harad, and it is a completely different story. Now, my next issue is going to be fighting the Witch King and his forces. Somewhere in either the Witch King or the Nazgul armies, or perhaps it is in Baradur, there are great beasts on the field. And I... I do not have javelins in these armies, so I need to double check where those great beasts are. If they're in the Witch King's army, I need to fall back and get some javelins up here, like ASAP. Okay, where's my nearest spy? Do I not have a spy anywhere up here in Mordor? Do I not have a spy out here? Am I really not? Okay, let's go through my agent list. Oh no, you're right there. Okay. Let's put you next to the Witch King. So he's got trolls, Lokan, Perim, and some Varig Lancers. Not too bad, I can shoot down the trolls. This army is a little more annoying. And what do you have? You have trash. Do I just fight him now? I if like it's interesting, because if I fight him now. Yeah, let's just do it. Oh, I don't even reach him. Okay, that's that's a little different. Okay, well, I'm gonna get these uh Lasarnic axemen in his army. Because I need some armor piercing. Definitely need some armor piercing there. Um, I can't get those guys there, which is unfortunate. Ah, uh, the rest should be okay. Alright, I will need to recruit maybe some militia now to defend these places. Let's get some Gondor militia, some uh, territorial guardsmen. I'm still gonna make 10,000 gold, which is good. Definitely having the new army that I have uh, in, in the south on the ship. This is costing me a lot of money. This is very elite. But uh, this is what I can use to probably just take Finabel with. Got the artillery that I need, so I probably will. I'd love to get Global Tolfloss back to Dolomroth, but uh, it just doesn't seem like that's happening anytime soon. The Arden and I are very invested in that province. Now, how are things in the West? I am just pulling back from this place. I do want to take Orthanc. I think it'd be fun. I might even edit the files so that I can get the Orthanc card here, although I'm probably not going to do any more fights here in the West. Alright, well, Mordor has sent in reinforcements to the castle of Morgoth, which is great for me. Uh, Malthak does have a strong force, a lot of uh, Black Uruk, some artillery, and Captain Ugdush, uh, that's kind of a whatever army. However, this is Eorthorn the Aggressive, my 35-man strong, replenishable Swan Knight Captain. He has been such an amazing general in this campaign, and I'm glad I stacked up all of those uh, traits for his bodyguard size. He is incredibly powerful here. Army's also quite strong. If I just simply take out uh, Malthak and the artillery, I mean, I'm gonna have no issue riding these guys. Plus, this is gonna be a reinforcement battle, so I'll have some time before the second army gets here. So, if I'm being attacked from my left hand side, that means that the mortar reinforcements will be on the back right corner, somewhere over here. Ah, the battlefield is not favorable to me at all. Okay, well, I guess I'll just play on this hill. It seems like that'll be okay. And then I can kind of charge downhill. Let's, let's, let's put the Athelian Rangers up here on the high ground. Maybe like way up here? Or do I want to just get up here and be closer to the other forces? I don't think I want to do that. I'll put them here. And then my front line is going to be infantry here. I might have an issue deploring. I'll just play with a tight formation. Kind of just play super defensively here. Get the Axeman right there. Yeah, this is fine. And yeah, let's just do that. Your Thorn, let's have you go out this side. The enemy have brought up more men. Okay, this is fine. This is totally fine. Orc fighters, my rooks. Uh, yeah, let's start with those halberds. One issue here is I am a little bit, uh, a, I'm just a little bit, uh, confined here. There's Orc Host. I just go in for an early Orc Host charge just to thin out some numbers? I think I do. I'd much rather just get on that catapult and shut that down. Easy kills there. Uh-oh. Catapult, please don't kill any of my troops. Oh, jeez. 
Okay, yeah, I need to shut that down. Okay, that did that did more damage than I wanted it to. Okay, come on, let's get out of there. Irithorn, don't lose to Orcoast. You need to shut down that artillery. I made a mistake going for the super weak units here. Gosh, that reload speed is a little fast. Uh, another shot hit my gun register. How are they that accurate? Okay, keep working on the halberds, please. This should shut down the artillery for good now. As they still get one more volley off, I don't like that. Please miss. Okay. Okay, we're good there. Hit the ballista. What are you guys firing at? Firing at the orc maulers? Okay. Yeah, good, good call. Hit those orc maulers. <laughs> please hit the orc maulers. Oh, they can do some damage to me. Okay, come on. Take out the ballistic crew. It should not take this long. I mean, I guess there's 81 of them. Like, 120 orcs is still 120 orcs to hit. I'm just gonna keep him in melee. Alright, let's pull out. Let's pull out, rangers. Get out of here. Starting Axemen, you're just gonna have to fight the orc maulers. Not much I can do there. Okay, let's pull out. Where is their general? Where is he? There he is. You guys are firing at the flank here. That's good. Under infantry. Okay, hold the line. Are they, are they getting back on the catapult? They literally are, those bastards. Uh, there's orc maulers here. Alright, I'm just gonna, have to, just gonna have to deal with the orc maulers. I'll probably lose, if I had to guess, 8 cavalry here if I get recharged. Alright, just hold the line. I need to snipe that general right now. At least the catapult crew is mostly dealt with. Come on, keep running, keep running, keep running. Go for the bodyguard. It's time, just take him out. You guys go for the black or calibers. It's time I be offensive here. I really got caught here by the freaking. Oh, jeez. Okay, please shoot at everything up here, guys. And I got blocked. Oh no, that's the, uh... Is that my target? Is the general there? Nope, I got blocked. You know, he was there. Okay. Is that catapult gonna get back up again? There's still four of them, so they can still fire. Gosh, that's annoying. Alright, you know what? Go for the orc maulers. I'm just gonna have to accept that one catapult's gonna fire at me. Maybe I can get in range to shoot that last uh, catapult crew. Come on, let's, let's weaken up. Let's get my infantry saved. Come on. Can you get in range? You're still not in range. Come on, get in there. The reinforcements are getting ever closer. Jeez, I am not going to be able to get in range of this guy, am I? I need to get my rangers over here, especially. Okay, where is their general? He's still hiding back here. Very difficult to see things going on in these mortar battlefields. Now, the Earthworm, just, just finish off the cavalry. Or the, the artillery. Let's just stop them from firing. Okay, I probably don't want to shoot into the backs of my own guys anymore. I have to trust that the rangers can beat the orc fighters here with the Minas Ithil Guardians in the rear. Come on, guys. Just pile in. The rangers just gonna have to do what they gotta do. Where is the general? He is somewhere in here. There he is. Okay. This is fine. Like, my infantry are winning the fight, which is good. Okay, Gunner Infantry getting uh, flanked here. One catapult crew member still alive. Okay, go back to the ballistic crew. Reinforcements are getting closer. Come on, okay, I need to kill this uh, this general, like, very soon. Come on, guys, kill the Orc Maulers a little quicker, please. You vastly out-skill out, uh, them. You have better armor, better weapons, better gear, and you're better trained. Still having issues killing the ballista crew, it just takes forever for a year, I guess. 
Come on. Yeah, that art, the morale of artillery crews needs to go down. It is crazy how they will just fight to the death like that. Let's get out of here. Where is the general? He's somewhere over here. Okay, yeah, just take him out. Take him out. The other, hopefully that other captain's easier to deal with. Most of these guys are dead. They are literally fighting to the death. This must be a very good orc general. So I haven't taken that many losses. Like, I've only lost 17%. Not bad. Come on. If I'm lucky, I'll kill him. But I think, I, I think I'll miss him here. Come on. Take him out. Let's go back for another charge. Once the light tower hit those orc coasts, please. Come on, move up, move up. Are we still having issues here with these black orcs? Okay, let's get the Athelian Rangers out of there. I need them elsewhere. Come on, kill that bodyguard. Please kill that bodyguard. Right, I'm gonna have to charge the Maulers since they're defending the bodyguard here. I do have Axeman here. Maybe the Axeman will get a lucky kill. That's what I'm talking about. Really thin those numbers down. That was a good charge. Okay, the reinforcements are getting ever closer. I think that those guys finished fighting. They're still fighting. Okay. Oh, we'll just fire at will, I guess. Come on, let's get out of there. Where is the general? Oh, he's down to only seven. Okay. I have faith there. I have a lot of faith there. Come on. Should we get the orc archers? It's whatever. Come on, please get the charge off. Please get the charge off. What are you guys doing? There we go. You're going to get some more maulers. This is good. Yes, they're starting to rout. Most of the army is defeated here. Come on, Axeman, please kill that general. He's gotta be down to only one man. There he is. He is still alive, but he will not be long for this world. The thing is, I will capture the settlement with this. Okay, let's let's recharge here. How my infantry do it, and they could be better. If you guys just uh, try to get some stamina back. Yes, I think we got him. I think I got him. Yes, there he goes. Okay, the rest of this army should rout now. Come on, let's get in there. Capture the wall, please. And yeah, let's begin firing at the incoming reinforcements. Let's see, probably shoot the Maulers. The Maulers would be a good target. But all the dead orcs over here. <laughs> There's just so many of them. Okay. What are we at? 63%. Good. This will basically give me the castle for free. Which is going to be so, so nice. I'm going to have to exterminate it. Yeah, we'll have to exterminate it for public order reasons. Okay, come on. Let's get a line. Come on. Let's get a line here. Earthworm, let's be a little better at uh, capturing these guys, shall we? And where's their general? Looks like he's the second unit here. Is he the orc host? Is he the he's probably the Moranid guard. Yeah, that's gonna be a little more difficult to deal with. Okay, at least I'm shooting down the orc maulers. They uh, will eventually go down. Black pit archers or whatever, black orcs, okay. Totally fine. Okay, can we be a little quicker, please? I know you're exhausted. But can we move just a little bit faster? Right, I'm not gonna let them shoot at me. I'm gonna go into melee. Come on, they're already shaking just like that. Get out of there, guys. Okay, so I think he is these. Is he the Black Orc Archer? I think he is. Is that him? No, it's not him. He's somewhere in here. Okay, he's going to be a tough captain to beat. 
I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be aggressive here. I'm not gonna wait for them I'm gonna go into melee and just get this done with. Come on, Earthworm, let's get out of there, please. Okay, Captain is literally he is the Black Rook Archers. He has to be right. Not this unit. Yep, he's literally in the Black Rook Archer unit. I'm just gonna keep focusing them down. You guys fight the Orc Coast. Come on. You guys firing at? You're firing at the Orc Maulers in the back. Be someone doing some uh, work outside. I hope that's not picking up on the mic. And, okay, Eirthor just got completely recharged here by Orc Archers and all sorts of stuff, and he's taking a lot of casualties. Alright, sorry about the pause there. It was actually my dryer making some really weird noises, so I just shut it off. It was like a weird scraping sound. I don't know what it could have been. I don't have any clothes with buttons or anything on them that would make such a weird sound. Alright, well, if I can't get to this captain, because he is just being defended by lines of orc archers, then I will work on killing the rest of the orcs here. I should just bring these Losarnic Axemen down. They cause fear, so they'll be useful to break the uh, morale of these forces. Come on, rear charge. They're steady. They're probably not going to route from this. We'll get shaken, which is good. Mortar battlefields are just exceptionally rough to fight in. Come on, Axemen, move quicker. Okay, I probably need to peel some of these guys out of here. Okay, I, we're not firing well. Let's pull back. Come on, Axemen, come on. Get in there, please. I need you to cause fear to these units. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Come on, capture them all. Let not a single orc escape this battle alive. Alright, come on guys, let's work on the orc archers now. Here, throw and capture all of these. I need to make sure that this force is pretty much completely destroyed. Otherwise, the uh, survivors will go back into the city or the castle. And I don't want that. I want that castle. Any turn get on the Orc Coast? Okay, they're nearly dead. The archers really aren't going to do that much damage. I am incredibly well armored, and they have low accuracy. 89%. This is good. Keep on chasing them down. Put it on, uh, let's do times three for a bit. Our army is tiring. Yeah, the army is exhausted. <laughs> the army is definitely tiring. Okay, perfect, they're running. Okay, I just need to capture them all now. I need to kill the captain. Still will need to capture every last one of them. I do not want this army going back to the keep. I don't even want to risk it. I know, I know the thresholds, but I do not want to risk it here. Got the captain, that's good. The last few orcs, please. A thousand orc prisoners already. Get those guys. And honestly, that should be good. <laughs> what a battle. 271 to 4,000. Royal Swan Guard, 651 kills. 800 prisoners caught. The Rangers got like 400 kills each. Incredible. The Pikemen, and they didn't do so well. Words of the White Tower, 157 for only losing seven men, and three of those seven will make a full recovery. And these orcs shall be executed, and Morgost is finally mine. Now, it looks like Mordor decided they didn't want to fight Boromir, so they just ran off. <sighs> well, I'm going to lose some barracks, but uh, you got to do what you got to do out here. 11,000 orcs were in this keep. <laughs> Yeah, the Witch King and the Nazgul decided they just wanted to go elsewhere and not fight Boromir, so I get to fight them in separate battles, which will be even easier for me. Enemy camp has been sacked. We've got 26,000 gold to play around with. Western Moria's besieged. Okay, looks like uh, 
order has been lessened or think overrun of course yes, Saruman is gone so if Western Murder is being attacked, then that means that the Dwarves of Khazad Doom are finally doing something in this campaign. About time. Let's see here, the dust blows across the Pirates of Orc Kind. Huge mounds mark the sites of slain trolls. The Olag High and Black Rurks fall in droves, and their spears lie shivered upon the grass. Shields bearing the eye lie to return to the earth. The number of dead make it impossible to fully cleanse the lands of the West, and the enemy hosts advance upon their final goal. Total at utter defeat of Sauron, the great eye in the land of Mordor, where the shadows lie. Will the shadow become fully banished and usher in an era of peace, or can they fuel the fires of war once more and turn back the tide of oblivion? That is good news for me. I am so close to defeating Mordor. I mean, taking Barad-dur is going to trigger their last stand army, but it's not going to be that powerful. And then there's just a few more keeps in the east. Sauron is quite lessened. And he's decided to send his Nazgul out in random directions. It pretty much has left Baradur eh, mostly undefended. So here, I'm definitely going to need to get a library going right off the bat. Looks like I can also retrain because there is a uh, way station here. Okay, can I get any more spies out here? I could definitely use another spy if possible. I think my agent limit might be reached. Oh, nope, not yet. Okay, that's good. Yeah, more spies the better definitely need to be playing around with those more i'm gonna get smoking houses going i want to up my uh my spy limit here well switch the building anyone you got a smoking house that's good so you can get another spy that master mason's hall the large gear has a dockyard so i can get even more ships out here let's do that working on the smoking house air sass that's also where i'm doing the smoking house and with the moranin has an armorer, which is good to see. I probably want to get my culture up here a little more. I don't know, I have a university, or a, a school at least, so I don't necessarily need to. I grab this Mason's Guild House so I can get the other buildings trained a little quicker. We'll just peek in the south what's going on. Looks like Khand wants to go for Hout Honor, which is annoying. They don't border me there, so please don't go that way. And Denethor inches ever, ever closer to his goal of capturing Amon Ithil. Very soon I shall have a new settlement under my hands, and that will go to Dol Amroth. So oh, there's that navy again. Let's, ooh, let's take these guys out. Yeah, let's sink this ship, please. It's got a couple of units in here. Barufiel's Watch, that would be a good unit to get rid of. Can I sink them? Still not getting any ships sunk. That's annoying. Right, let's go... Uh, do I want to send them all the way back for retraining? Or do I just wait for new ships? I feel like I should just wait for new ships. Let's come back here. As long as I can keep this army locked in place, that'll help um, me a lot. If I can just stop the ships from getting to this guys, and they will be stuck there for presumably forever. Let's get that going on here in Fanulon. Should upgrade before too long. And uh, yeah, I think that'll do it for this episode. So thank you again for your patience, my friends. I'm finally... Back to recording another episode, and until the next one, farewell.